Hey guys, uh, I'm about to head to work Monday morning. Um, off for the next two days after today. Got a lot of work to get done in the next couple days. Uh, I want to say thank you to all you guys who showed me love in the Aloha video. And I figured I'd make one more video before I um, post his memorial video. I'm just going to post a bunch of old clips of us and stuff, but I might do that in a couple videos from now. I'm doing okay guys, I um, obviously it was really hard for the first day or two, and um, now it's getting a little easier for me. I still get sad when I think about him, and I still like, you know, look at the bed when I walk in the door and stuff like that, but uh, if the dude didn't have to go, he wouldn't be gone, so uh, I guess that's the easiest part of it, is knowing that I did just what I had to do. Again, I just brought it up to say thank you to all the love that you guys showed me and everything and let you know that I'm doing okay. Anyways, um, I keep telling you guys that I'm working on another uh, another channel, a project for another channel. Uh, anyways, what I'm doing is I'm helping other people get their old rigs going. You know, I, I've got a bunch of old cars and I enjoy them, I love them, and they all need work. There's plenty of work to do on my own cars. I mean, really, that's kind of a it's kind of a never-ending thing, you know, just working on these old cars, but... Uh, let's see, I got one, two, three, four... I got four old cars that run that I could drive to town right now. That's not including the Camaro, which I can't drive to town because the tags are still Texas. But anyways, uh, I enjoy this old car stuff every single day of my life. And uh, I really want other people to experience it too, you know, so... Uh, a bunch of people have old cars sitting behind, beside their house and behind their house and those cars will never run again, you know. And a lot of times they have sentimental value. It's their grandpa's or their aunt's or, you know, it's just uh, somebody gave it to them that they care about and they want to fix it up more than anything in the whole world, but they don't have the resources, they don't have the money, they don't have, you know. And so my next year journey is going to be just going around the country and um, helping people fix up their old rigs and um, that's my goal anyway I'm trying so so hard to make it happen and um, that's probably my future so I really have this heavy on my heart that I want to do this and uh, and I really look forward to it but it is gonna take a lot of work um, just getting to the point of being able to leave so I'm still a long way from being able to leave and hit the road but anyways I'm working on some projects now I know you. Some of you guys don't really love the love the car stuff, and I understand. But um, I'm gonna show you a couple of the projects that I'm working on right now, and just a quick overview and see um, what I've been doing with all my time. Uh, thank you again so much for the um, for the love that y'all shared for Aloha, and that's the love y'all shared for me and uh, dealing with that. So um, I know it was kind of heavy to put on you guys, and I'm sorry for that. But I know that a lot of people. Uh, a lot of people needed that too so uh, there's people that have been watching my channel for two years and uh, I make Aloha a big part of my channel so they've kind of come attached to him like you would any character in a TV show or movie or whatever you know so uh, I'm gonna quit rambling I gotta get ready for work but check out some of these uh, rides that I'm working on guys so I've been telling y'all um, I'm working on a couple projects for a new channel and I've never actually showed y'all this truck so I'm gonna show you Russell's truck. Higher, right? Yeah, sounds like it's a little better. 51 Ford F1. 52? Uh, 51 I don't know. I might have been lying this whole time. 52. You better research that. I ain't seen it. I know where the dial is. Super cool motor. Flathead 8. Just a turn away. Let's go take a listen back here. We got it loaded full of parts right now, but. What a beautiful truck, huh? Did 
this is his uh, this is his dad's truck. Uh, his dad passed away. When did your dad pass away? Huh? When did your dad pass away? 2007. And this is the first time it's ran since then. Well, this is the second time. We started it about a week ago. So, but uh, we're getting it back on the road. Still a long way from done, but anyway, I'm filming the whole process, and it'll be on a new channel, which I haven't even made yet. Anyways, uh, just want to sh want to show you guys what I've been up to. Uh, I'm working on a couple different rigs right now, but this is my buddy Russell's. He is awfully proud of it too. He should be. more effort to not get paint than it is to get paint all right guys here she is we have pulled the whole front clip off we took it all the way down from rust put a rust barrier on it protected it painted it all all new bushings in the suspension uh, all new steering parts we're working on right now here's some of the steering We want this truck to look like it did when her dad had it, so we're not going to paint it or anything. We're just leaving it like it was. It's a mess inside right now. We just got everything piled in there to keep it dry, but uh, she's got a nice seat for it and everything. We had it upholstered. We're getting all the, um, the floors patched up right now. All this had rust holes all in it, so we're getting it all cut up and welded up. This hole is for the transmission cover. But uh, yeah, we just got everything piled in there to help keep it dry. Uh, here's the rear, same thing. Pull the bed off. There's the bed and all the parts that go with it. Um, took it all down to the frame, removed all the rust, put a rust barrier, repainted it. All new brakes. Here's the bed. All the wood's gone. We got new wood already. We got with the black walnut and. It's at the wood guy's place ready to get cut up. And here's the rest of the parts. Uh, these years were really bad about rusting through on the fenders here. There you can see the rust. So one of the trips to Texas was to travel and get uh, get new fenders. The door, the doors crush really bad on these. My 66 is the same way. The doors crush really bad. And uh, maybe you can see better on side profile. So what happens is there's a little strap right here that holds the door from opening too far open and uh, they break and then it gets dented up. So we had to find a matching colored door, which was a needle in a haystack, but we got the doors matching. We got one fender. We still need a fender for the passenger side, which that's actually, that fender is actually a passenger side fender. So the driver's side looked that bad too. Uh, we gotta get that replaced but since the day after Christmas we've been working on it and as we can we got all new rubber for it we had to get some extra rims and stuff the rims are busted and stuff like that so uh, it's a 283 which is a pretty cool Chevy motor unfortunately 
the motor's ruined, it's been frozen and cracked, so right now we're kind of held up waiting to get a motor, and we've got a lead on one, but uh, we haven't we haven't got a hold of it yet to make sure if it's a good motor or not. Anyways, guys, this is what I actually spend all my time doing is working on these old rigs, and uh, it's what I want to do with at least the next couple years of my life, so uh, I'm working really hard right now to... Uh, to get at least eight or nine videos going um, before I start the channel and if I do that then I'll be able to drop a video every two weeks and have four months worth of content to uh, maintain at least three and a half months or so to maintain and that way whenever I hit the road I can start filming new projects and just add them to the queue and eventually uh, eventually I'll probably run out but at least that will keep me going for a while alright guys that's what I do to stay busy Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the love on the Aloha video. I appreciate all of you guys.